Hey guys, it is Jack here for another vegan friendly taste test review. I love informing you guys. I honestly love informing you guys about some amazing new vegan friendly products that have hit the store and I have got some amazing new ones today. It is from the company Earth. It is this from the same company Coco and Lucas who makes some like vegan friendly you know plant-based meals that are available at Woolworths but they have available of a range of frozen snack ideas which I'm really keen to show you guys and talk about and taste. So today we have some chickenless money bags. Check them out there. Chickenless crumbed bites and porkless spring rolls. They also have available chickenless cheese balls and also beefless curry puffs unfortunately i wasn't able to find them for this review i found three of the five but hopefully this will kind of give me a good indication on how these taste and maybe i'll go try to find the other two as soon as i can but you know these are seven dollars each from Woolworths across Australia. Newly released in the frozen section. They're all with all the other vegan friendly items in the freezer section at Woolworths. But this is such a great idea. There definitely is kind of a bit of a void at the moment for vegan, you know, entertaining snack ideas in the frozen section. Sometimes you just want to chuck some items in the air fryer that aren't just hot chips and kind of have a bit more variety available. This is really great. More and more companies are coming out with convenient, easy to cook and prepare snack items if you're entertaining or if you just want a bunch of entree size snacks. So these are 250 grams each, $7 as I said. So a little bit pricey for some people, but then, you know, if they taste good, you know, it's probably definitely worth the money. Anyway, I am gonna chuck these into the air fryer right now, let you guys know how they taste and if they are worth your money. So let's try these out now. Alrighty guys, here is my delicious banquet of frozen fried food here from Earth. Got the nuggets, the chickenless nuggets, the chickenless money bags, and the pork, and the porkless spring rolls. So these are amazing. Actually, before I start, I find it absolutely amazing that companies are coming out with more recycled packaging. This packet is 100% recyclable. So just chuck that into your recycle bin and then there's a plastic film that they put on it, which you can scrunch up and you can chuck it in those plastic waste bins outside Woolies. So that is amazing. I love that companies do that more and more often now. And it's such a great idea, less plastic waste. Anyway, these took no time at all to put together. I just chucked them in the air fryer for about 10, 15 minutes. You know, they crisp up quite well. They look delicious. They smell delicious. Let's get into that taste. So first off, I'm gonna try off the chickenless nuggets. So here we go. Texture looks good. The batter doesn't look too bad. It smells a little bit wheaty. There are a lot of different vegan friendly nuggets out at the moment and competition is really hot on these items at the moment. There are so many great options available and unfortunately, these from Earth, these chickenless nuggets, they're very, very bland, not gluten friendly either. The texture of the, of the chicken is very wheaty, lacks any sort of flavor at all on these. Very, very bland. If you close your eyes, 
you think you'd be probably eating bread, crunchy bread. I hate to be harsh on the start, but you know, that is my opinion. 250 grams of these, so there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve nuggets in there. So there is a good handful of nuggets in there. So I'm gonna move on now to these money bags. Never had money bags before before going vegan either. So this is a really interesting concept. So these are chickenless money bags. So it has some cabbage in there, some chickenless meat in there as well. And also it says onions, coriander and shallots. So that sounds great. Let's see how it tastes. Much better flavor on the chickenless money bags with the coriander and the and the onion in there as well it really does give it a lot more flavor than the nuggets the nuggets were very bland and very tasteless um you know the money bags themselves the pastry like you know it's very crunchy air fried them I, I believe if i purchase these again i probably it'd probably be better if they were a bit softer and if i boiled them instead Nice, definitely like maybe it needs a bit more, like a bit of saltiness to it. So probably with some soy sauce, it probably would take the taste to the next level. So, so far we have a pretty average offering from the nuggets. An okay offering for the money bags, not too bad. Let's see how these porkless spring rolls go. You know, there are a couple different brands that do spring rolls out at the moment. They're not porkless, so this will be interesting to see how these taste. I'm already seeing some mushroom, there looks like carrot in there, and the porkless meat. So it looks full of goodness in there. So let's see if this could be a real winner from the Earth range. does have a very pork like taste to that meat inside much more flavor than any of the other offerings honestly though in terms of other spring roll offerings that you can purchase from the freezer section these are probably pretty similar part these are very tasty good flavors in them as well and like i probably would be happy paying seven dollars for them how many of them there was one two three four five six seven eight or one two eight Nine, ten. I don't even know how many I've eaten. So I'm pretty sure there was nine in there. So that isn't too bad when you compare it to some other offerings on the market in terms of price. Seven dollars. You know, it is a bit pricey, but these aren't too bad in terms of flavor and and good size as well for a spring roll. So not too bad. I don't know why I was going into this with really big high hopes for these. I, I was expecting the world from these products expecting these to be the great new innovation item that everyone is going to go out and buy but unfortunately falls a little bit short of the mark those nuggets like there are so many better options out on the market and unfortunately i could not justify telling people to purchase these for seven dollars for what you get money bags they do kind of take it to the next level with a bit more flavoring in there i feel like this product probably would have tasted better if i boiled them you know the out coating was probably a bit more soft so that would make it a bit more tasty you know serving this with some soy sauce as well would have been a really good idea and the spring rolls the porkless spring rolls are definitely the winner in my mind out of the three that i have tried there was a bit more flavor in the pork meat that they have in there you know they've got other veggies inside and you know overall they is a good amount of spring rolls there for the money that you pay. I'd happily probably pay for the $7 for the spring rolls again, but I'm not too sure about the other items. But I am very keen to try out the other two products that I wasn't able to find to see how they taste and compare as well. But you know, it is a really great option to have some easy frozen snack items to purchase from Woolworths in Australia. As I said, 250 grams, $7 for a pack of these. But what I do love, 100% recyclable packaging. Great idea, I love that idea. More and more products are coming out, more and more frozen products are coming out, more and more vegan products are coming out. The competition 
for good quality vegan products is getting higher and higher. When I first went vegan, you know, the mark was pretty low and you were just happy with anything that you got. But now, so many companies are coming out with some amazing, great tasting products. The expectations are much, much higher. And unfortunately, you know, some products, you know, do fall a little bit short in terms of texture and flavor. But you know, that is just my opinion. So like, I really wanna hear your opinion. If you've tried these products, please let me know your feedback on any of these products that you may have tried in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear your feedback on these items. And if you enjoyed this video, chuck it a like, share it around, and as always, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell if you want to stay up to date with more vegan taste test videos like this and more relevant vegan Australia content. I do grocery hauls, I do recipes. I inform you about all the great tasting vegan products that are available in Australia. So keep up to date with those videos if you want to find out what is available in Australia now. Anyway, I've got a plate of food to finish. So until next time, I will catch you guys very soon.